Hello, everyone. Here, I will present my paper, Robust Pressure Matching the ATF Permutation Constraints for Sub-Field Control. And my presentations will cover the following seven parts. First of all, I will introduce the background of the sub-field control. Sub-field control aims to reproduce a desired sub-field within a special region using a last beacon array. For example, as you can see from the figure one, we can set the desired sound field within a predefined sound zones and uh, point source from the position of the virtual source. And the reproduced sound field generated by the last beacon array needs to approximate the desired sound field as much as possible. Then the listener inside of this dose can share the incident point source from this station. And the typical method for the cell field controls can be divided into four categories. The pressure matching method, mood match matching method, and the subspace based method, and the deep learning based method. Okay, after I introduce the background, in this page, uh, I will explain the robustness problems in the cell field control. As shown in the left side, cell field control task can be divided into four steps. The system input will pass through the acoustic transfer functions. And after we have obtained the acoustic transfer functions, we could desire the loudspeaker control filters according to the corresponding optimization strategy. After all, we can use this optimal control filter to realize production. And as you can see in the step two, we can divide the cell field control and the acoustic transfer function based desire problem. And when the cell field control system is deployed in a room acoustic environment, it's always required knowing the ATFs. Uh, the uh, cool transfer functions between the last speakers and the matching microphones, the ones. However, the permutations uh, in the cool transfer functions usually occurs in the measurement process. And after we have uh, summarized such permutation factors, including the five point. Okay, in the section three, I will introduce the motivations and the contributions of this paper. For the motivation, in this work, we assume that the acoustic transfer function's permutation from a complex Gaussian distribution, which applies to the scenarios with the, the signal wave fraud, fluctuation caused by the propagation through a randomly homogeneous medium, or the source printed in the right proper channel. And for the contributions, for the first point, of the contributions. For the first time, we consider the model to transfer functions using the complex Gaussian model, but based on which an unsatisfied string applied it limits the impact of the permutation on the pressure matching method. And the second point, the biconvex optimization is used to solve the reformulated optimization problem. And the current in the descending algorithm adopt to obtain the corresponding optimal ATF estimate and the loudspeaker control filter. All right. Now in this section, I will provide it, I will provide the details of our proposed uh transfer function model. First of all, let's review the basic model. The sub pressure reproduced at the M's control point, you write in this equation, where the vector D is the loudspeaker control filter, and the vector G is the acoustic transfer function between the M's microphones and the L speaker. And we also assume that the input signal to each of the filters has a flat spectrum. And therefore, it can be discarded in the model. And in order, takes the ATF, the quality transfer function permutation into account, uh, we modeled the measured quality transfer function metric as in this equation. 
where the metric g hat g0 and the delta g are they measured the ground truth and the permutation uh, equity transfer function matrix respectively. And we assume that permutations, the equity transfer functions for each last speaker, the microphone pairs are independent. And therefore we vectorize the ATF matrix into a column vector. And after some notation changes and some mathematic operations, uh, we can obtain this equation here. And uh, we also assume that the measured Cauchy transfer function vector G tilde obtain a bit a complex Gaussian distribution uh, where the mean value is the true ATF factor G0 tilde. Okay, based on the ATF model in last page, in this part, I will introduce the proposed robust pressure matching method. The classical pressure matching method um, to formulate it as minimizing the mean square error is the desired self field PD and the reproduced self field. And subject to the last frequency energy constraint. However, the classical pressure matching method is sensitive to the changing and the variations in the Cauchy transfer functions. And in order to solve these issues, uh, we present in this work a robust control method that gets the such permutation by adding ellipsoidal constraint with the uncertainty on the Cauchy transfer functions. And here is the general form of the uncertainty stent. This equation, and where the convergence matrix C is coming from the complex Gaussian model in the last page. And the center of the ellipsoid constraint is a measured value. Is a measured data. Uh, in order to explain this constraint clearly, we can look at the figure on the top right. I give a plot example of two ellipsoid set with uh, different boundary parameters. The proposed method aims to find the uh, optimal solution within a uh, statistic set E. The value of the boundary parameter in B should be selected properly. If it's too small, uh, the global optimal solutions may be far, uh, may be far away from the true value. Mm. Uh, so a well-selected value of the epsilon Bs can be provided a, a, proper, a proper feasible set of the original problem, uh, which is beneficial for searching for a better estimated GB. Uh, in the real applications, the parameter the lobby should be chosen according to uh, priori formations of the actual Cauchy transfer uh, environment. Uh, for example, like the range or the distribution of the permutation. After introducing the proposed uh, robust pressure matching method, uh, here we will introduce how to find the solution. And we can found that the robust pressure matching method includes two steps. Step one, calculating the control filter D, and step two, helping the cost uh, transfer function matrix gym estimate. And such problem is uh, a biconvex optimization problem, and the coordinate descent algorithm does. The most common way of solving such a problem is the Alternatively, up to the two variables by, by fixing one of them and solving another one. And the details of the proposed algorithm one is given in this table. Okay, now let's introduce the application of our proposed method. One of the particular applications is the personal thousand and generation. It aims to generate several independent lessening zones within a room using a last speaking array, as shown in the figure four. The listener can join the immersive listening periods in the broad zone. And meanwhile, the other listeners are not disturbed by the different sounds generated by the last speaker in the dark zone. In such zones, the sound pressure level is low. And compared with the sound field control formulation in the previously session, sections, 
we can find that the difference between the cell field control and the personal cell role control is uh, that the later one is uh, dark energy constraint here. Okay, from now on, I will introduce the evaluation part. Uh, first of all, I'll give you the simulation setup. We simulated a total reproduction example in the room condition showing the figure five. Uh, here are the parameters we have chosen. Among different causes of ZTF permutations, we assume that the, the case of uh, the microphone position mismatch. In order, to do in, in order to do this, the redden permutations in the defier region add to the position of the microphones, which generated the sentence. In this part, I will give you the performance measure used. First is the normalized signal distortion energy. It can be defined as the normalized mean square error between the, the extra cell field PED and the, and the desired field PD within the brown zone. While the acoustic trust, trust contrast is defined as the energy ratio uh, between the bright zone and the dark zone. Okay, in the next page, uh, I will show the performance against the position mismatch along with the flow. As shown in the figure 7a, the pressure matching method with the true ATF for uh, acoustic transfer functions has the lowest normalized signal distortion energy. While the pressure matching method using the measured acoustic transfer functions have the largest normalized signal distortion energy because the sensor position mismatch will be degraded the system performance. And in contrast, our proposed robust pressure matching method has a reasonably good normalized signal distortion energy performance along the entire frequency band. Also, the result in the 7B shows that the, the pressure matching method with the true values of the quality transfer functions and the measured quality transfer functions have a almost the nearly same a acoustic contrast performance over the entire frequency range. But our proposed method uh, have the slightly better acoustic contrast performance along the frequency range from the 300 to the 700 and from 2,100 to, to the 4,000 uh, hertz uh, with the highest acoustic contrast reaching nearly 24 dB and the frequency point, 2,003.40 hertz. Okay, in, in, this, in this page, uh, I will show you the performance along with the permutation level. But first of all, I will, I will introduce the, the Virginia norm, so the metric G, delta G, we will use this term to quantify the level of the permutations. Uh, you can find uh, in the figure eight, A, the proposed robust pressure matching method shows the improvement of the normalized signal distortion energy within the, entire, uh, within the permutation level from the 0 0.6 to the 1.5. And finally, we examine the effect of the spherical and the ellipsoidal constraints on the acoustic transfer function estimation. The ellipsoidal parameters are decided according to the additional prior information of the acoustic transfer functions as shown in the remark in the left. And the, the centers and the, the covariance metric denote the sample mean and the covariance metric from the the training data we have uh, generated. The result in the figure eight shows that our proposed robust pressure matching method achieves the better um, normal, like the signal distortion energy than that of the, the spherical constraints. Uh, while the acoustic, transfer, uh, acoustic contrast performance of uh, the two methods are almost the same.
Okay, at last, to summarize our research work, the conclusion we have obtained are list below. All right. Uh, that's the end of my presentations, and thanks for your listening. <laughs>